Yeah. Uh. Uh. Bag it up. gave me the kick in the ass to, to make this movie. And that lady there, Veronica Lazar, um, can you get up at least, if you don't want to come up on the stage? This is my mom. She doesn't speak any word in English. <laughs> Lily Ding, my editor, T tell us who you are and what role you play in the movie. Um, I'm Octavia, and I played uh, the little girl. <laughs> my daughter. Uh, who are you, and uh, who are you in the movie? Um, my name is Amelena, and I'm uh, she's sister. <laughs> who are you, and what role? Hi, I'm Elena Harding, and I'm playing Lana in the film. Um, I'm the little Latvian girl that's kind of, I don't know, pouring her heart out at some point about how dreadful her country is. <laughs> there you go. Hi, who are you and what role? Uh, my name is Gina Picciano. I play an hotel guest. Yes, a very good one. And this is Christopher Jenner Cole, my DOP and uh, one of my angels. I had three. Um, actually, um, to, sorry, I want them to uh, Christopher and Veronica re believed in me uh, without any f having any filmmaking school. I, I um, trained only as an actress, um, but I had some story to tell, so um, they, they liked it and they helped me to, to, to make the movie. And then I got stuck, as you could see, there was um, a lot of... Uh, technical stuff uh, involved, so I, I didn't know anything about it. And um, there is, where is he? Here, Massimiliano Guelfi. <laughs> he, he helped me, he's my third angel. He actually pulled my hand when I was uh, almost dead. Um, and uh, that's it pretty much. If you like to ask us anything, uh, we're happy to answer your questions. What's your next project? My next project, um, it's uh, in post-production. It's called uh, We Can, and it's a documentary about a new filmmaker um, at Cannes Film Festival. What's the budget for the film? The actress you'd like to play with. What's your favorite actress or actor? you like to play with. Oh, um, I'll take that. Uh, a gentleman's question, and then I answer to you. Um, the budget of the movie was about 250 pounds. Usually, when I go on seminars and panels, and everybody, so it's again. 250,000 pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had 250 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wished. Um, yeah, usually people tell me, oh, don't tell the budget, you say double, and no, I can't, you can tell, it's not a film with a big budget. But yes, if I will play with uh, one of my favorite stars in a movie, then I will double or triple the budget. <laughs> um, I don't know, I have many, many favorite stars. Um, I like all the good actors. I know you play with Demi Moore. Uh, I didn't play with Demi Moore. No, what? I didn't. I played this. Um, what was the news about you? It, yeah, it was news that um, I had a role oh. as a stripper in an English movie called uh, Nice Guy, like Demi Moore. Oh. She played stripper as well, yeah. How long was the shoot? Um, about six weeks, 
five, five to six weeks. Any more questions for my lovely cast and crew? I actually have a question. My name is sure. Alexandra, and uh, first Hi, of all, Alexandra. thank you for inviting me. I did the same thing about four years ago, like you. Um, and you know, yeah, I used to be an actor, and then I became a TV businesswoman, and then I stopped my career to do what you did with a lot less money. And the similar challenges that um, you said, and what struck me, and I want to ask you, it's not related, but I read credits since I made a film. Once you make a film, you end up staying till the end, and please always do so. Uh, your father died, is that correct? Yes, it is. And my dad also. Did he see the final cut? That's my question. Yes. He or the pre locked cut. <laughs> Next question, please. For Chris. Yeah. The uh, Jeremiah. <coughs> I thought Romania was fantastic. Um, it was a great shoot. I mean, I, I think we, we were in LA. I met Dalia uh, first time in, uh, in Los Angeles. We were at the Hotel Roosevelt, and uh, she came up to me with her script. She was introduced to me by a third party, and I, she handed me the script and said, I don't know where to begin. I, I, I don't know where, can I get this off the ground? And um, I, I took my eyes off her bikini connected body, and um, <laughs> Which, is, which wasn't easy, uh, and then um, got into the script, and um, I think about well, a quarter of the way in, I, I sort of zoned in, and suddenly I wasn't in Los Angeles, I was in Romania, within the script, and um, just thought, well, it's just got to get done, whichever way, we just got to make the movie, and um, I was eager to start, and um, she was eager to get going, we got back into London, met in Chelsea, and had some few meetings, and as on the film, um, when her beloved Linda died, I remember the day she rang me up for that. I was just going for an audition for the TV series, and she told me that Linda died, and I thought that was really sad. And, and we you know, we'd already got a connection going. Uh, Romania was outstanding. Her family treated me like family, and um, I have a soft spot for uh, Chutelek. Uh, Chutelek is the village where we shot in, my grandmother's village. Yeah, please. At what stage is the movie at the moment with the distribution? Um, are you having any offers that have already been? Uh, not at all. It's the first private screening for the industry people. Um, um, we focus on sales agents and distributors, but it's hot and people are in holiday, so we invited a few actors and other people from the film industry. So I don't know. I don't know. We should. You should ask me after the screening. I hope there is a few sales agents or distributors in here that um, like the movie. Dalia, I have a question. Um, I was really touched by the story you told because behind me nobody sees me in that sense, but I also come from a very, very disturbed past. And a lot of what I saw today got me really emotional. Is this based on your true story? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it's based on my true story and other people um, that were in my life at certain Stories. stage. And you will continue perhaps following, you know, doing based on other people's... Maybe if we could get some alien story in it, because now I'm, you know, a bit... Um, a bit sick of hearing from every single uh, cell agent and distributor I meet at festivals, oh, we are cast driven, cast driven. You know, people want to make money. That's why they sell agents and distributors, because they want to make money. Um, so do we, but we also love our art. I'm, I'm more on the creative side of it. So um, any story from now on I will make, uh, it needs to be a start in it, because I want to succeed also financially. I thought it was a that would be a great touching story. Um, Thank you very much. I just want to ask those difference between uh, pictures. Did you did you kind of shoot in different ways? Um, in yes, we had two different cameras. People, different colors, different cameras. Yes, we um, actually all the scenes in Romania we shot with uh, Sony Z5. And then we came to London, we got a bit smarter and got a little bit more money and we used Canon 5D. How long did it take to know when you started um, Yeah, three years, because we got stuck with the technical side of it, like super stuck. We did the sound in India, we had huge problems. Um, they, uh, then we had to redo it, or at least Halo Post tried to 
rescue it as much as they could. Planning to put it into any other festivals? Oh yes, <laughs> but um, I've been to a few festivals and it's not easy. It's not easy because when a movie is not supported by a um, big prestigious institution, then festivals um, is not financed by um, a distributor or a, a big producer or executive producer works on it. So basically there is no one that has previous experience um, in this movie. Uh, they, they are a bit, uh, you know, distance. It, I, I don't know. It's just I think it's who you know. In the film industry, I got to the point that I, I really believe is who you know, and it, who you know is not by uh, mom and dad. Who you know is like by getting yourself out there to the festivals, to the meetings, to and meet people, make relationships with people, build relationships, and one day hopefully you know someone with maybe they don't like your art so much, but they like you as a person and believe in you that you you know make the next ones better, or, um, and you know they will try to help as much as they could. Everyone wants to make money in the film business because we all know film business is money and Hollywood and all that. So. You know, it's not easy to get into a festival. Julian? Yeah. How do you find the experience, actually, I mean, because you, you wrote it, you produced it, you directed it, but how, how, how do you find the experience um, directing the film, but at the same time having to perform it? How, how do you find that tension between the two? <coughs> um, I, that was the easiest I thought at the moment, at that time, but now when I look at it, I think I could have made it better if I focused on one thing. Um, yes, but I had many meetings with different directors um, and they just didn't bring me the story I want to tell. So I just, well, I was forced to direct it myself. Um, I, it was easy then, but um, now, uh, I don't know. I think I would rather uh, focus on one or the other. What was the most difficult scene to shoot? Um, it was the one when I bring the second immigrants to the house with Masha's mom. That, of course, is following by the, my meeting with my mom back home. Sorry. You can cry so loud. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So those were two very tough scenes, and I, I remember watching the the scene with um, Dylan and Mother in Remain. I mean, we took as much footage as we could, and um, you know, they, they were very. There were some very emotional scenes, and, and the rope scene was difficult in its own way. Um, um, having filmed a one or two before, that was one of the most difficult ones because we had to we had to get through it very quickly, and it's not a, a subject that's quite easy to film. But as a mother. Um, um, in terms of the mother and in terms of Marsha meeting her mother. Though that immigration storyline was very touching. Most of the scenes were, weren't, we, we didn't really stick to the script and in Romania especially, we used um, real people, we didn't use actors. And even in London, some, some of the actors, very few are actually professional art, art actors, most of them are real people. So we kind of used, we kind of took one shot or two shots of every scene, so we use we use that. So it's like real emotions in every scene. Yeah. I just want to mention the best scene I saw. That was in Romania, the family all together, sitting and eating. Um, I think it all was real, wasn't it? Yeah, that was very real. Everyone there was. Um, was no, actually, a, a, a part of the brother. Everyone was my family. I think it was emotional. I did cry. I don't know how many people cry, but I did cry. Yeah, at some point. But, I, uh, you know, I call it comedy. I think it's a comedy, but I laugh at many scenes, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to see yourself, yes. For us, it's really emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But if you can look at something like that and laugh yourself, if you've been through it, it means you've healed and you're ready to tell the story and you've done really well. Thank you so much. I hope so. I hope so.
yeah, I try to be very strong, but still, uh, you know, it just seems I, I cried. But. And I hoped I, did, I, I didn't cry at this Q&A, but... I mean, you haven't but, died, because that's why I, I can so relate to it. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? I have no question, but I'd like to say I'm proud of your mom and your family and everybody here, I think, well done. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for coming.